looks like we've got our first matchup coming up. Cygnus and VYHD. They're going to do their warm up as is customary for the tournament. And then they are going to start their pick straight away. This, this pod's gonna be really, really good. I can already tell. Time to get some hype going. Yo, check out these cuts. <laughs> Definitely a good first song to see when you log in. Searching for a warm up chart. Hovering over mind games. The uh, slight lateness of mind game might benefit in some capacity, kind of to get you used to hitting slower. Slower than, uh, not rushing. And as a side benefit, Baseball robots. First stage. Ready, set, step. Yo, we are actually doing this on life four. Check it out! They're cheering for you! 100 combos! You got the beat, you got the song, you can do no more. I can definitely see where VYHD is definitely taking advantage of uh, getting on sync with the timing. Let's warm up. Always good to watch uh, that kind of like, get, get those muscles moving and then slowly and surely feel better and then by the time you're at the first pick, you're fine. Pretty good warm up on both sides. All right. Hi, chat. I'm back. I decided to use the restroom and get myself some Chinese for it. Welcome back. Your boy. Appreciate, appreciate being on the mic with you. So, looks like we got by with Cygnus, a.k.a. Ann. So fun fact, Anne got into town earlier in this week and has been staying with with um, local mod and tournament organizer Fusion. And Anne has been wilding with a lot of the other people. We learned some things about Anne this week. This week, Anne loves Malort. That's weird. If you drink, if you if you drink alcohol, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, whatever. We also learned that Pluto relinquish is a wild song to go ahead and pick. And it's working out in Anne's favor right now as Anne has about a three point lead over Vi. The beginning is always very awkward to get into. Perfect. 
All right, so the slowdown. And still ahead right now by about three points. And we are tied. Still sitting on a full combo. Both have lost their PSC for a while. By doing a good job of either tying it or keeping it within a few EX points of AM. Both players handling the slow section really good as we go ahead and not a full speed up to the whip blink what relinquish is in this one and get some miss. Still maintains that little bit of lead that he had. By still sitting on the full combo. Both players showing that they have the knowledge check on this song. Handling the slowdown beautifully. Now we get into the stream section. And picks up another miss, which gave Vi the lead. Ooh. And Vi takes it. With a comeback, 11.59 to end, 11.34. He held on and really nailed that ending. He did. Like that's, that along with the couple of misses that and that the miss got and got at the end is totally what gave him the comeback. So shout out to Vi for taking advantage of that. And still putting in the words. So that was one of the things we also found out. There was also an inside joke of finding things that and if you haven't noticed. It's, it's actually perfect that these two are playing against each other. Vi is a very, very tall man. Anne is a very, very not tall lady. So the joke was that we were finding tiny things that Anne could curl up in a ball and sleep in. Now we have a unit of measurement of how many Anne's tall is, is this object. <laughs> also, and we are having an all Pluto set. What is wrong with these two? Can we talk about how Vi has a 17 perfect PB on this? That's the other thing, wild. So this is clearly Vibe's pick. Ann is clutching it too. Two points ahead of Vibe right now with the PFT. Vibe pick up a, a great along the way. All right, Ann picks up the first great, so now Vibe has about a, well, we're tied. I, I stand corrected. One or two points between each other. We're gonna hit the stop and a speed up. And picks up a good and a great right there. Vibe now sitting about a 40 EX point lead. Alright, so going to the slowdown section, we're gonna speed it back up a little bit. Vibe still sitting on that lead by about 50 points at this point. Let's see how this stop session goes. All right, both players, like like for Lankers, showing that they do have the knowledge check. Wow. Impressive from both of them handling that. Vibe picked up some perfects at the end, but still clutches it out with a W. And gets the head mount like, those gallops near the end are really hard to like find anything resembling and a marble all sport. of them. Because you're talking about like those gallops that like what Pluto like the first is 400 BPM, so you just like have to be able to like slide that. It's real easy to just simply not get fantastic or get marvelous on that section. So we have two swift necks against you saw them before PQ who made it out of the previous pool with a pretty close set with Ann. And fun fact, That's it. See you next that, time that I forgot on the to bring up. Ant and PQ played in a competition 20 years ago to semi-recently. And the result was actually that Ant won <laughs> over PQ in top three. So this was the salty run back and PQ ended up taking it over Ant. So as I was saying before, those two are like really close friends, have known each other for decades. 
and have competed against each other. That's how far back some of these, some of these, these players go with each other. Like this community that's a web, we've been around for 20 plus years. It's amazing. And then we got your boy T Swift out here. Hung out with him a great deal last night. for a 13 that you're just itching to get either for life for or your own benefit, this is the one to go for. As you'll see, struggle, although it is constant, it is constant eight stream with some step jump. That's all that this song is. So it is, for this song, for both of them, this is gonna come down to perfect. Both of them have a PFC, P keeps is a little bit better. So I expect to see that this comes down to maybe just almost a few points between the two. And that shows because we are now tied between the two. I believe this is the warm up because T Swift has yet to play. Oh, okay, then that makes sense then. Correction, this is the warm up. I think it's a good warm up. Yeah. I was wondering because I'm like, this, as I thought about it, as I started talking about it, it's like, oh, this isn't the difficulty curve for this school. I could see it being a tournament pick, but it would be quite risky. You better, yeah, it's a tournament pick that you better be confident that that person cannot out, cannot out um, MA, because that's how you will lose if that's the case. Indeed. to not only PFC a 13, but find a good one to like, probably pull up. This is the one, seriously. The hard part is that da, 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 that jump pattern. After that, it's just, it's a song where you just have to lock yourself in, find the timing window, keep it straight, and just keep on going. And I guarantee you, you'll get it. Very good warm up for both of them. So we are about to be the real, the realest of deal. Moving on to a quite different kind of 13. <laughs> but it's going to be the 16. Because that's where we be. We actually don't know yet. Both of them discussing the chart. I think PQ is showing T Swift what happens after the speed up. Oh, okay. All right, then I guess it's a 13. I can't correct you. I thought we were into just 14s now at this point. Shout out to Tag. Literally here wearing that same hat. <laughs> what a <laughs> lord. Such here a good hat. All right, T Swift picking up a perfect really early on. PQ still sitting on the marvelous top right now. Yeah. Pinky picking up his first perfect. But still not giving T Swift much of a chance to catch back up. Not letting go of that lead. Lead right now looking at about nine points. Oh, and he picked up a string of perfect, so now T Swift is only down by three. Still sitting on the gold combo, both of them. Looks like that help paid off for uh, T Swift. Seven point differential. 
Here we go into the freezes. He puts heavy ghost stuff in on the freezes. Pick up a perfect right outside of the freezes. PQ put ahead by about 10 points. Still ahead right now. Kind of at about like 15. T Swift still sitting on that gold combo. Love to see it. Putting in work. See if you can hold on to the MA and close that gap a little bit as we end the song. Ooh. Both players, we got a dual PFC. 1408 for PQ. 1390. So 18 points. 32 for T Swift. 14 for PQ. You can definitely sense the slight lateness of that charge from those fast counts. And we are back to exotic ethics, man. Uh, lots of 13s. Despite the fact this is a boomer charge, T-Swift has a better score with five perfect and he keeps eight. Dual SDP PBs on that. So we saw this earlier. With, with, with the next match, a little bit earlier in the previous poll. Or I think the poll we So we're going to see if DQ can go ahead and get 2 0 from this classic heavy crossover laden song. Wow. I um, chess. This is this is it. This wow. Is high level. 85 until gold combo until peak white combo break for T Swift. PQ still sitting on an MFC right now. And sorry, okay, chat, I'll shut up. Commentator's curse. But both players are sitting on one person still. Looks like PQ picked up another one and we're tied. This is gonna be really close. Coming down to just two perfect. PQ with a two point lead. Close. Right chat, here we go. This is one point. Eyes open, eyes open, don't blink. Here we go. Wow. Whoa! T Swift! Takes it in. He cute. Throws a perfect on the last step. The last step. All right, the 15. Ah. Got another bop going here. So as the last time that we saw this on the screen, it happened to be on the upper end of the floor. It was the first pull in which 50s were able to protect. This is what we got. Now we have both players that have a PFC on it. They're both very, very comfortable with this. Only nine perfect difference. Select level. First stage. All right, chat. Here we go. This is your tiebreaker. Let's get it. He keeps ahead by about two points. Still sitting on that, that PSC. He breaks PSC, but T Swift picks up a great and he takes super advantage of it now to get a, a 23 point lead. He 
Suki's MA has just been out of control. T-Swift doing a really good job of kind of holding to that early, the early drop, the early stumbles. Still down by about 33 points, or 30 points at this moment. Handling those complicated rhythms quite uh, quite well. And, but like I said, with both players having the timing, they they know just kind of like the swing of it and how the song is slightly a little bit late. Which is why you're kind of starting to see like the perfect that PQ is getting. They tend to be a little bit on the slow side. t was still doing an amazing job of holding that MA. He's down by about 50 points, but it's not going beyond that. Up. And the PFC clutch. Whoa. 27. Perfect. 84 and 5 from T Swift. So scrub gang. T Swift goes down. Oh the call out. Ooh. PQ calling out Andy for having <laughs> for having an up for having a high score that is one perfect above his. <laughs> He'll get it one day. And Scrub Nation, don't fret, your boy, he ain't going nowhere. He's gonna go ahead and run that back against Vi and see if he can get that done. We already saw it happen earlier on with the exotic ethic. So anything can happen. And everything will happen. <laughs> everything can and will happen. <laughs> Shout out to New York Gang. New York Gang rolling deep into this tournament. Putting up amazing results. Oh, yeah. New York Gang. One of them taking fourth place in dance run. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I see. Wow. Bakugaki. Bakugaki CSP. It does, in fact, look like they will be playing the 16. Um, T Swift with the PFC. 70 perfect. No, actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. 99 7. First five? Um, no PFC. Just a 99 5. So basically, this has more late drilling than a construction zone. Hilarious. As the graffiti girl is in a construction zone. Here we go. And by keeping up with this, third off Marvel. But I think he's just not committing to some of those drills. That's okay, he's going to dial it back in now. These would have to take advantage of that as he just. Time gets a little bit off. Still stay on the full combo, but five timing is just a little bit better. Five is now in the lead by about 20 points. And now for a lot of double stepping. All right, still a 20 point difference between them. T Swift looking like he's kind of tightened up his timing a little bit on this one. Five still not letting go. Plus 68 over his. EXDB. This is a section where you can't really fall asleep because the patterning will absolutely punish you for that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna wake you up in just a little bit. This is, as I like to say, this is the break section. This is where you can kind of recover, get your bearings back, and save some of your stamina for what's about to come up. All right, bye. Actually, still sitting in the lead. However, T Swift has closed the gap a little bit, only down by plus or like a little bit around 10 points. Still a little bit less at times. Definitely winnable. Uh oh, T Swift 
Hoffman picks up a good. Goes down the full combo. Vi picks up some misses. That's kind of the insidious thing is if you get off even a little bit, that can happen to you. Oh yeah, it cascades. All right, here we go. Oh, and T Swift with the full combo, but brings it back. But to only be down by eight points to Vi, who takes that one. T Swift really brought that back. Absolutely, good job on T Swift for kind of making up and kind of staying fast to to those patterns before every miss that Vi was getting. It's just that. Even though Vi would get those misses, he would just re-lock back onto the timing and just like really course correcting me. So good job on Vi for clutching that out and T-Swift for not letting it get way past anywhere past 10 points. Absolutely good showing from both of them on a really tough 16. So looks like we're gonna we are gonna oh. stay in the 16 floor by playing Wad F2. Absolutely tricky 16. Infamous for its pattern at the end. Where you, yeah. have, where you have a planted freeze with two with two steps outside of it that are 16 patterns. If you play this turn for the first time, you're gonna be very confused as to what to do. Oh yeah. There are multiple ways to go about it. So we'll see what they end up doing. Yes. Both players do have experience with this, so I assume that they All know right, what to do with the tech, but it'll be interesting to see how they execute it and if they handle it well. Now, a lot of this chart is also very good for main, too. You got All right, both step. players you got the sitting move. on the PSC. Keep She's personally down by about three combo. points. a little bit faster in his timing with the random perfect that he is getting. T Swift. Oh, picked up picked up a great amount of perfects right there. His MA up until that point was absolutely sharp. Kept yellow through the crossover. And Vi absolutely broke. Picked up a good. So T Swift is only down by 10 points now. And picks up his great and breaks his gold combo at about 275. Vi still maintaining his lead. Up by about 20 points. Got to be very eagle-eyed to see how they approach the ending section here. Yes, we're about to hit those ending, the ending pattern that I've been talking about. We're going to hit this freeze. All right, Vi ahead by about 50 points. Yeah, about 70. Here, Here we go. go to the pattern. They both opt to do uh, foot switching on the freeze. And T Swift kind of dro he drops it at the end, gets the first one. And Vide will go ahead and take it. 18 10 to T Swift, 17 27. Great full combo. Five greats. Not a bad score. It's just, man, that was a hard set. So, I. Shout out to both players, shout out to T-Swift, Scrub Nation, Scrub Gang, New York City Gang for putting in some work on that really tough set. <laughs> Trucking through those 16s. Well, we got the return of two legends here. We have the everyone's new favorite increment of measurement, and AKA Cygnus versus PQ. Oh, with On The Bounce, we're going to play the ESP this time. Both players have a PSC and with an absolutely astounding out of this world nine perfects on it. With PQ with what looks to be 18. 18. You're on the pink circles. Carrie says, fuck, I refuse. Get up, pony. Yeah, I don't blame you guys. Carrie, you live in Korea. You have access to these guys. Girl, I will fight. PQ and Sickness did a nice little fist bump before going. And we locked it. Let's get it. And we are on the bounce.
This uh, this chart is infamously early synced, but with white cabs that kind of evens out usually. All right, both players doing great. PQ with about a six point lead right now over Cygnus. Alright, here we go. Taking a breather as we kind of look at this section. He keeps still ahead by about 12 points. Cygnus doing a good job of maintaining that gold combo. Here's the part where Cygnus can go ahead and reclaim some of those points. Doing a good job, only picking up a, oh no, she picked up a great right there. PQ has been very rock solid in this part so far. But even outside of that great, Anne's MA has been solid. Oh, definitely. All right, here we go towards the end of song. PQ's gonna end up taking it, but let's see how close Anne can bring it back. And, 20 points off from PQ. PQ takes it, 12.90 to and 12.70. Dual flags. Dual flags. Hey. We take those one grace. We have 36 and one and 16 and one. Sometimes you just don't feel like PFCing it. Sometimes you say, I'm tired though. <laughs> That's a lot of the time, really. <laughs> oh. oh. Big easy RT, R, R, RTO for this pool. Just made just like the grossest face like, ew, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is where I would say a tale of the tape. Cygnus has a better score, but p -Cube has been playing this song for so goddamn long that his score on this cabinet does not matter. The amount of times PQ has had to play this song in a tournament is pretty ridiculous. So here we go, Max Unlimited. One of the big shit ball songs from back in the day. Let's go. All right, PQ did pick up a great earlier on. So Ann takes advantage of that to have a 10-point EX lead. All right, here we go. Into the Gallop section. Ann still holding on to a lead by 10 points. PQ doing a good job of just sticking on with and keeping it to 10 points. And picked up a great right there. Still in the lead. Now at this point, by about 20 EX. And picks up some greats right there. He keeps the other miss along the way. Should we go into the stop? He keeps nailing, nailing the start up, which is, was enough of a chance to catch back up. And did pick up a good right at the start up. Still maintaining combo, but only about three points away. Now 10, it's widening here. I expect the lead to kind of, in this next section coming up, this is PQ's chance to catch back up. He's getting there. Oh. And PQ takes it yeah. in the last section. Those, those candles are killer. 1677 for Cygnus PQ 1706 was down the entire way, yeah. but got the run back and clutched it out in the end. So PQ takes it 2-0, and I do believe is going to move out of the bracket. So, but other than that, everyone, make sure you shout out to Ann, shout out to Cygnus, coming out here, having fun this week, putting down some love, giving us our new unit of measurement, the AP. Absolutely love her to death, and so glad to see her out here. She's been, she's also been putting in work off, off stream, putting, putting up some really good scores lately.
And now we've got something that's worth about five and a half AP. I agree, five and a half AP, Miraida Future. We've got uh, dual PFC PDs. PQ with a perfect. And then you have, you have Vide with what looks to be 58. I'll bet it's been a while since Vi has uh, PFC this. Probably. So this is going to be a refresher. Here we go. Let's go. All right, and we are tied starting off. Uh, staying tied so far. Okay. Or about tied. Oh. You're a rock star. You're the only one that came to see. Okay. Not picking up a lot of perfects yet. Yeah, it's going to start increasing out of these 16th notes, get more and more prevalent in the chart. All right, not a lot to say. They've been pretty neck and neck, although PQ has pulled away about this moment by about, I'd say, 9EX right now. Both players still sitting on that PFC. Tricky up down drill coming up. Both of them handling it beautifully. Bye, still keeping it within 12EX. Bit of a mental reset here. Oh, and PQ picks up his first break. Five still sitting on the PSC. PQ is still holding on to that lead. His MA has been has done enough to make up for that grade. Five trailing a little bit slow at that ending there. And PQ takes it. 1544, right. Vide with 1520. 44 and 20. So it's okay, Carrie, and the rest of the, and, and taking. I too am one of the people that's like, how are you guys so good at scoring this? PQ had a fake PFC money score too. It's actually funny, so it, I was doing an interview with Esteban, and he was asking about, oh. Oh, here we go. We're we're now we're we're here at the 13. Everyone's favorite 14. So we we're talking to, and I'll tell you about how scoring and how like the community has kind of like the how the community was responsible for EX score for situations like that where your money score is bullshit. It just depends on like how well you combo. So you could have instances where, all right, maybe you. You had the better timing, like in this case, PQ, I've used that as an example, not literal, where you had the better timing altogether, but maybe you got a miss at some point in the middle of the song. However, someone else who got a full combo and had worse timing would have a higher money score. So because of that, the community, the DDR players, came up with the EX score and assigned point values to each of the judgment. And then a Konami officially adopted it. And here we are. So there's your fun little wholesome story for the day. So we're going to go ahead and get started with Stray Cats. So we saw the so we saw the difficult chart early on. So now we're going to go ahead and see what the expert is like. And as you saw, Rock, and Rocco gave a pretty good description about it earlier on about how different this one is. It's a little more swingy. It's really it's really easy to kind of drift on a timing as well. But. Both players absolutely crushing it. Wow, PQ picked up a miss right there, which is giving Vibe the lead by about 10 points. You got the step, you got the flow. Keep up now, that, this little is pretty interesting because it's the same speed as the 12th notes at the original tempo, but then that root speed up happens. All right, Vibe did pick up a break, but he is comfortably in the lead right now by about 18 EX.
right, so it's about 20 points. Pete keeps doing a really good job of his MA. But Vide just has just such a comfortable lead. And is doing a good job of holding on to that. You can do no wrong. Vide definitely hanging on. There's not much, there's not much chance for a comeback left at this point. And now for Zed. Yes. Ah. All right, so this is P-Cube's last chance to catch back up. Vi oh, just has to maintain. They're giving it up for you. And he does it Sweet. to take it over P-Cube and go to the card draw. 1354, full combo. 1325 from P-Cube. Very similar perfect count for both of them. Very close. PQ, he definitely got he got smacked with those misses and those breaks that, that he that happened early on through the song. And Vi took advantage of that. So now we go to the card draw, folks. Oh, I do not want to know what that card draw looks like. Yeah, if they chose. Okay. Oh, never mind. Oh, my God. Stella Sinestra. I was about to say. So I'm a little biased, chat. I tend not to like the idol song. They kind of bother me. However, PQ with 13 perfect PFP, 99.8 from Vibe. We're about to go to the third. Here we go, chat. Let's see how we do. Tear it up, y'all. All right, Vibe ahead by two. But it's still, uh, it's still kind of tied. It's always it's just one point back and forth between the two. It's this is it's a 13 with like a not a lot of density. So it's just gonna kind of come down to MA at this point. So a player still sitting on the PFC right now. Although PQ has, has managed to kind of get ahead right now by about three points. Oh, yeah. you can do Managing the 16th first pretty well. Six point lead for PQ right now. That's what I'm talking about. You got the magic touch, baby. Alright, picking up a couple of perfects right here. 300 combo. So, waiting in the gap for about six points. Five, can go ahead and maintain the MA. So far, he's had a pretty deep MA now, but picking up his first perk is after about 50 seconds. He's only ahead by about 10 points, but he keeps MA is still super consistent. Gotta love foot switches. And we got a dual PFC. P Cube will take it. 1353 divides 1338. 15 point differential. Vide with 27 perfect. P Cube with 12. Been seeing lots of really crazy perfect counts. I mean, it's only gonna go up from here as we go higher into the bracket. The level of play goes up. It goes up logistically and for a reason. All right. First of all, shout out to shout out to Joel, aka S Bobby, for holding it down on the commentary yeah. along with your boy. But we go in ahead and change. We have LP crossover. Yes. How you doing? I am doing great. How has your mistake on the lake been so far? So much fun. Love, uh, love to see a lot of people here. Um, 
I got my uh, got my sets I got my sets in as well. Um, won the won the first one, lost the second, but I'm pretty happy all around. Fantastic! I'm glad that you you put in that work, especially after what waiting <laughs> waiting all day for your pool to come up. Yeah. That that had to have been. An yeah, experience. I know one of my friends. Uh, he has to wait until 9:30 for his pool to start. What, what was I saying last night to everyone? You're too good. You're just <laughs> too good. So you gotta wait. So we're gonna go ahead and finish out this current pool. We're gonna have Anne, aka Cygnus, playing against Scrub Gang, the New York City, the New York City Crew boy, T Swift, aka Martin, right. playing across a nightmare. CSP, a classic. Yeah. Always love to do this, and 300 BPM. All right, here we go, here we go. Both players are stepping out the rhythm. All right, Cygnus ahead by a TDX points. Here we go into the first drills. drills. All right. And still maintaining that lead by about 10 points. T Swift right. picked up a great. So widen the gap a little bit yeah, for Anne. Second drill. Both players crushing that drill. Yeah. Some parts that they like to do is try to do the crossover uh, crossovers on here. But uh, yeah, it's a, all pretty easily double steppable. Alright, here comes the green jumps. Both of them executing them well. White combo for both of them. Yeah. Love to see it. T-Swift, although down, putting out a good display right now. Yeah. But Ann is locked in. All right, here comes the third drill. All right. Ann picked up a great right there, so T-Swift closing the gap just a little bit. But we still got that longer extended drill to finish out the song. Let's see if they can go ahead and lock it in. And Beautiful. Both players with a full combo. Oh, yeah. Cygnus takes it. 1077 to T-Swift's 1045. Oh, all right, 30 point difference. So I would say we have a, so there's a unit of measurement that we've come up with on the stream today in, in honor of Cygnus, where you know how cars have horsepower that they measure like their speed and their torque? We have Ann Power, the AP is the name of the measurement. Oof. Unreal. So I would say, I'm not even gonna consider what it takes to PFC this, cause I, the song is, is, is an experience. Well, um, I do have, I do uh, know a person who managed to get the actually his third PFC, which was mind blowing to say the what least. What a demon. Yeah. So, speaking of PFC, T Swift does have this as a PFC. 90, with, with 41 perfects. Cygnus does not. Simply passing this song with a decent score, I will say I will give it 12 AP. 12 units of Ann in order to do that. Player says that this song is supposed to be off sync. Oh, uh, early or late? It is, as I'm watching it. Yeah. It doesn't help that both of them are <laughs> absolutely <laughs> are absolutely playing it really well. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, so if I'm correct, as I'm kind of watching it, this song is late as balls. All right, cool, cool. So yeah. Um, as I'm thinking about the white cab, it is actually supposed to, you're supposed to be playing even later than that. Yeah. So, wow. T Swift picks up a great right there. And is still sitting in a lead right now by yeah. about 12. So far, this is going to be calm before the storm. The first storm, that is. All right, here we go into the step jump. And picks up a miss, which gives T Swift the chance to catch back up. All right, here comes the slowdown. Oh, it's all a couple great. Can't wait to see it. And picked up another miss. T Swift Ooh. now only down by 10 points. Yeah, getting quite close. Speed up. Both handling the speed up beautifully. Can't think about that when it comes down to the final stage of Supernova 2. Here comes the final step jump run. Oh, there's the first miss for. Uh, T Swift. Yeah. Um, and locks it in two. to win by two. Oh my Let's gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to T Swift. Even though he broke combo, which. Un Whoa, what was that? That was a mic behind it. Sorry about that, chat. Yeah, um, yeah, so 
T-Swift broke combo. If T-Swift didn't break that, T-Swift would have won that. Yeah, it was just a it was just a difference of one perfect. Oh man, 44-7 and one good and a miss. 42, seven greats. Two misses for man. <laughs> Never see more misses. Super athletic. close. Shout out to both players putting in the work. I think the real difference here is uh, is the fast and slow. Sickness is really on point with it. Yeah, with a with a really even spread. Sickness had that dialed in. Um, T Swift, of course, showing that this song is late as fuck. Yeah. Give <laughs> hands to both players all around. That was really good stuff. That was really good standing. Good games to both players. Scrub Gang, New York City crew, be proud of your boys.